Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun, and I have a tutorial for you guys in Tutorial Cinema. Um, this is going to be with Vegas Pro, and I'm going to show you guys um, some montage editing tips and tricks for you guys. Um, pretty much, uh, pretty much random kind of tricks. Uh, pretty much with your settings and the options of Vegas. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, audio fading. It does this automatically when you split a clip, and sometimes it gets really annoying to like not. I mean, to undo it every time. I'll show you what I mean. Let's uh let's split a clip, right? Um, and if we zoom in really far, we can see that it automatically fades out and fades in the audio. And what if you want to, don't want this to happen? What you can do is uh, let me undo this by Control Z. Um, undo the split. You can go into Options, go to um, uh, Quick Fade Audio Edits. Um, what you want to do is just click uncheck that to where there's no uh, it's not highlighted. Um, then let's try splitting our clip again like so and we see that there is no uh, audio fades so uh, that's a pretty handy tip so that's the first trick that I want to show you guys the second one is uh, let's say you're syncing and um, you can't get it on a specific line like let's say you want to get it in between where I'm uh, scrolling through right now and you can't um, what you can do is you can unquantize to frames which means you don't have to snap so options and then quantize to frames you, you can uncheck that and you can now edit you can now go wherever you want just by scrolling um, so that's really cool if you're if you're uh, syncing and you can't get exactly where, where you want to and it sounds weird you can always just do that um, so yeah I like to keep it on unless that happens um, that's just my preference um, now also uh, you guys can see this uh, little time over here you guys probably all know that I think this is default I'm not sure don't hate if it's not but uh, these um, the the time and frames option is the default which means this is uh, hours minutes then seconds and then this point is the frames um, so how we can change this and make it something else is you can go into options you can go to ruler format and you can change it so I have times and frames on which I believe is default um, you can change it to absolute frames which means it's the you know the frames itself so you can see that just scrolling by it, it uh, shows you just the frames um, or you can do, you know, other things like just time. Um, this, these are probably like milliseconds here. Um, but anyways, I like time and frames better because you, first of all, you can see the frames and uh, and the time. Um, and it might be confusing to read for you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain it just in case. Um, there are 60 frames in one second, so when you're scrolling through your frames, you can notice that it's it restarts at 60. Um, so I'm go I'm scrolling along here. Let me get the near 60, um, and right at 60, it'll change to the next second. So how you can find out what frame you're on? Let's say I want to find out which frame this is. You add, you do five times 60, then add 10. So that's the 310th frame. Or you can go over here and just check that. Um, so that's pretty much what this means right here. Um. Okay, so that's that. That's that. Ch ch telling you how to change your uh, timeline ruler, I guess it's called. Um, let's see. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to um, RAM preview and how to edit how much you can RAM preview. Um, for you th those who don't know, RAM preview is when you when you highlight something in your um, loop region, and uh, you can hold Shift and B, and it will start to do a RAM preview like let me just uh, do this for example um, so I got my loop region and I hold shift and hit B and it will start to go through my clip here very slow um, and then once it's done it'll re it'll go back to where you started and you can press enter and watch it perfectly with no lag that's what a uh, RAM preview is, is use it, it uses your computer's uh, random accessible memory to uh, give you a nice little preview but uh, some of you know that there is a limit to how much you can do, and you can actually edit this limit. So what you can do is go into Options, um, Preferences, um, Video, yeah, Video, and uh, and you'll see right up at the top here it says Dynamic RAM Preview Max, and you can set this. And the max available uh, will show up right here for you. Um, so I have one gig of uh, max RAM available. And I recommend you do not come close to your max because that will make your computer lag if you uh, do a RAM preview and you get, get near the max. Um, so I doubled mine. Mine was 300 to begin with, and it's uh, and 600 works for me. Um, it may not do all of what I want to preview, but you know, uh, it does most of uh, 
if I'm editing and I want to see how something looks, then I can RAM preview it. And usually, usually with the 600 for me, it works pretty nice. Um, so that, those are the tips and tricks I have for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy and like this video and uh, send in your tutorials also. See you guys.